Hello, good evening everyone. This is Revamp uh, Concepts Live Tutorial. And this evening we are considering a topic it energy and, and this evening we are considering a topic it energy and, and this okay evening oh, we are considering to the class. a topic it energy and, and this okay we okay. shall be looking at uh, temperature measurements But uh, let's quickly talk about the series of topic uh, that we are going to be looking at based on the information that we have on our previous groups where the link was sent to we shall be looking at uh, heat and temperature and under this topic we have a series of topics that we are going to consider and uh, to start with we are going to start with uh, temperature measurements tonight And in our subsequent classes, we are going to be looking at other topics such as uh, solid expansivity. We'll consider topics such as uh, gas law. We're going to look at uh, heat capacity and uh, latent heat. But tonight, we are going to be looking at temperature measurements. Okay? Alright, let's... Uh, as you can see on the screen, we have a heat and temperature. This is just a theoretical background of the topic we are looking at. We have effect of heat on an object. We have definition of heat on the screen. Also that of temperature. But uh, this is not the topic we are looking at tonight. What we are going to consider tonight is our temperature measurements. How do we measure temperature? So that is what we are looking at tonight. So just trying to set up uh, or remind people for what's up so that they can join us and why doing that uh, if you're already on the platform just uh, be looking at what we have on the screen already you can just start looking at what we have on the screen already okay If you are on already, just uh, take a look at what we have on the screen already. Why we are still notifying people that are yet to join, calling their attention to what we are doing right now. Uh, in few minutes, the, the class will start. Ok, 
okay if you're already on just try and look at what we have on the screen okay now when we see temperature measurements right from our basic school we've been taught that uh, we use a thermometer to measure temperature as you can see on the screen we have that on the screen you can see thermometer which is an instrument used in measuring the temperature of an object and for every thermometer there is a two reference points which are upper fixed points and lower fixed points you can see the definition of upper, upper fixed point on the screen and also the lower fixed point on the screen okay now what i just want us to consider here these are the theoretical background of the topic which i expect everyone to go back to and study properly basically this evening we are going to be looking at uh, calculation on this topic and uh, presently uh, in the world we have uh, three scales of thermometer that are in use and they are Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale as you can see on the screen the picture on the screen is talking about uh, the three scales of thermometer that are in use the first thermometer on the screen is a Celsius standpoint point is a 212 degree Fahrenheit while the lower fixed point is a 32 degree Fahrenheit and for the Kelvin scale we have a 373 Kelvin as the upper fixed point and uh, 273 Kelvin as the lower fixed point Celsius and Kelvin scale they are closely related so maybe when we are dealing with them we can be checking some stuff there as you can see on this this as a thermometer we have our upper fixed point and lower fixed point and according to this question the upper fixed point and the lower fixed point is 30 centimeter apart and uh, if our upper fixed point okay, pardon me let me remove this from this side if our upper fixed point and lower fixed point is 30 centimeter i would advise that we have uh, the upper fixed point to be 30 And let's have our lower fixed point to be zero on the centimeter side of the thermometer. While on the degree Celsius side, lower fixed point is zero degree, that is temperature of the highs. While upper fixed point is uh, 100 degree Celsius. Now, the question is talking about uh, the reading when. the when the upper fixed point is uh, 30 centimeter above the lower fixed point okay now the question now is that what would be the corresponding temperature when the mercury thread in the thermometer is just nine centimeter above the ice point that is let's say this part is nine centimeter so how do we find the value of the corresponding temperature very simple without even using any formula just ensure that whatever you do to the centimeter side of this uh, thermometer sketch on the screen is what you are going to do to the uh, degree Celsius side so we can have let's say on the centimeter side we have uh, the highest value which is in line with our upper fixed point minus uh, the lowest value which is uh, in line with lower fixed point divided by 
the reference point which is 9 cm minus lower fixed point so let's do the same thing to the degree Celsius as uh, side of the thermometer in doing that we are going to have 100 minus 0 divided by x minus 0 and if that is the case we can easily have uh, we can easily have uh, 30 over 9 equal to 100 over x by cross multiplying what we have on the screen we are going to have uh, 30 x equal to 900 now dividing both sides by 30 we have uh, x equals to 900 divided by 30 mathematically that will give us 30 so we have our x to be 30 degree 30 degree Celsius now what in the, what is the implication of this let me quickly show us right from the equation the question says uh, the lower and upper fixed point of a certain thermometer is 30 centimeter apart that is what this question is telling us is that uh, this point and this point they are 30 centimeter apart and the upper fixed point from uh, the first screen that we checked before this example upper fixed point of this thermometer given here is 100 degrees celsius why the lower fixed point upper fixed point is 100 why the lower fixed point is uh, 0 degrees celsius okay now they now ask us that uh, at a certain day that is uh, the thermometric uh, metri material in the thermometer is showing a reading of 9 cm so what is the degree Celsius temperature that corresponds with this 9 cm and that is what took us to this to what right here on the screen right so the formula will lead us straight to what we have right here on the screen that is uh, the reading corresponding to upper fixed point minus uh, the reading corresponding to lower fixed point over the reading that we have on the term on the thermometer minus the lower fixed point reading so what we did to this centimeter part here yeah, we did the same thing to the degree celsius part and that is what we have here that is upper fixed point minus lower fixed point equal to the degree celsius temperature corresponding to the nine centimeter minus lower fixed point and uh, mathematically that took us through all these uh, arithmetic processes that we have here and we arrive at the value of our x to be equal to 30 so that is what just happened that is uh, when the mercury thread is trading 9 centimeter the corresponding temperature will be 30 degrees celsius particular one you are not really paying attention or probably due to the network issue we've been facing from the beginning of the class we were unable to pick anything in the first example let's consider the second example okay in the second example this has to do with a uh, resistant thermometer remember if you study the background of this topic very well you will have seen uh, types of a uh, thermometer and uh, one of the type is uh, liquid in glass thermometer we have a resistance thermometer we have gas thermometer and some other types 
So the one in the question, which is a sample to here, is a resistance thermometer. And uh, in this question, we have uh, the electrical resistance of a platinum wire at zero degrees Celsius is 9.8 ohm, and uh, it's equal to 11 ohms at uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now. We have to calculate the temperature when the resistance is uh, 10.4 ohm. And uh, in order to do this, we may need to repeat what we did in the first example. That is, we are going to draw the, we are going to have a sketch of something that looks like thermometer to show the upper fixed point and the lower fixed point to interpret this question okay now in order to do this let's have a sketch of a thermometer here okay let me have a sketch of thermometer let's say this uh, stroke represent a thermometer and this part represent the lower fixed point why this part represent the upper fixed point of the thermometer and you know that uh, according to the question the zero degree Celsius, which represents uh, the lower fixed point, has a reading of uh, 9.8 ohms. That is, uh, this zero degree Celsius part of a thermometer is having 9.8 ohm. Why the 100 degree Celsius part? is having 11 so the question is uh, we have to calculate the temperature when the resistance is uh, equal to 10.4 that is uh, when the resistance equal to 10.4 sorry for that okay so let's call it x again using the same approach that we used in the first one okay we can say the resistant reading representing the upper fixed point minus resistant reading representing the lower fixed point which is 9.8 over the resistance reading at point x minus a lower fixed point mm -hmm. reading and let's equate this one to what this degree Celsius part will give us that is 100 minus 0 over x minus 0 I want to believe uh, this is clear to us before I proceed. Now, the upper fixed point in the resistance side of the thermometer is 11, while the lower fixed point is 9.8. And the midpoint, the reading on the thermometer at this present time is 10.4, uh, while the degree aspect is unknown. So. How do we go about this? Very simple. If you play around this one, we are going to have 1.2 over 0.6. That is uh, this minus this will give us 1.2. And this minus this will give us 0.2. So let's equate that to 100 over x and from here we can have our x to be equal to 100 multiplied by 0 0.6 that will give us 60 divided by 
and mathematically this will give us 50 degrees Celsius that is uh, the reading at point X equal to 50 degrees Celsius that is if the reading at 9.8 equal to 0 degrees Celsius the reading at 11 equal to 100 degrees Celsius therefore the reading at 10.4 will be equal to 50 degrees Celsius okay let's have one more example on this in case you are just following you have not been able to pick anything we are going to have one more example on this we should shed more light on this before we move to the next aspect of uh, this uh, topic okay now the next example here we have um, a thermometer that records uh, 680 millimeter hg uh, at steam point and uh, 440 millimeter hg at ice point this type of this thermometer is uh, you can call it a gas thermometer and uh, it's using uh, the pressure of gas to sense uh, the temperature uh, of whatever that it is measuring okay they now ask us to determine the temperature it records as 18 millimeter hg please i want you to pay attention to this particular one you can see that uh, the temperature the reading given to us is less than the reading of uh, the lower peaks point that is the highest point of the thermometer and uh, from the first two examples that we did uh, we have uh, the reading in between the steam point and the ice point but in this case the reading is uh, a bit below the lower peaks point which means uh, what the reading we are considering here is below zero degrees celsius it's going to be a negative value so how do we go about this we are still going to use the same method but let's just pay attention okay uh, let's try and draw something to represent a thermometer as well let's say this is representing a thermometer these are lower peaks points these are upper, upper peaks points upper peaks point is always on the degrees Celsius here yeah. sorry for this and uh, according to this question this upper peak fixed point is represented with uh, 680 this one represents 680 and uh, the lower fixed point is zero degrees celsius and it's represented with a 440 but mind you the temperature we are looking for is below lower fixed point so let's just fix it below lower fixed point let me use another color to just show that uh, we're in another part okay So, we are going to have our x here that is unknown, and we are going to have our 380 according to the question here. Okay, very good. Now, let's try and solve this the same way we've been solving others. Remember, we always go with uh, the reading at the upper fixed point minus reading at the lower fixed point over the reading given minus the reading at the lower fixed point let's do the same thing here let's say we have 680 minus 440 over 380 minus 440 and let's equate this to upper fixed point 
minus zero over the unknown temperature minus zero and this will lead us to 240 that is 680 minus 440 that will give us 240 over minus 60 that is 380 minus 440 equal to 100 over x and with this we can proceed and we can have uh, remember 240 divided by minus 60 will give us minus 4 and uh, this will give us 100 over x we can now say our x equal to 100 over minus 4 and our x will be equal to minus 25 degrees Celsius uh, so far so good if you have any question on the three examples that we've seen your question at the comment section just before I proceed uh, this is a pre tutorial for anyone that is writing either UTME Y or NECO and to be coming at least twice in a week or three times in a week on this channel but in order for you to be notified whenever the class is on uh, and click on notification button subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscription button click the notification button so that whenever we are live like this you will get the notification and in the comment section if you have any question whatsoever even outside this topic feel free to drop your question at the comment section um, please if you love what you've seen so far in this class today try and give me give me a thumbs up click uh, the thumbs up symbol and don't forget to subscribe before you leave the channel so that uh, you can have easy access to the class whenever the class is on like this there's a lot that will be given in this class definitely we are going to give a lot out free of charge without collecting a dime from anyone and uh, please just share this with everyone on your, your contacts that you know that can benefit from this share the link with them and whenever we're going to have this class there will be information that will be sent ahead so that you know the time that the class will be taking place now let me continue with the class the next aspect that we want to consider we want to look at the temperature scale conversion conversion remember at the beginning I mentioned that uh, we have uh, three major scales in use presently globally. They are degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, and uh, degree Kelvin. And uh, these scales, they don't have the same reading. Whenever you use your thermometer to take the reading in any of these scales, you may need to convert from one of these to the other. Even in our example one, we have to find these answers in uh, degree Celsius and Kelvin but just because I've not talked about the conversion that's why I didn't touch the Kelvin aspect but I'm going to show you how to do that now so I want to quickly go to a question that will show us how to change from Celsius scale to Fahrenheit and from Fahrenheit to Kelvin scale uh, just pay attention as we have uh, our next example on that particular one okay we look at the example 4 example 4 says convert 36 degrees celsius to fahrenheit temperature and the b part says convert uh, 78 degree fahrenheit to celsius and kelvin temperature okay let's uh, look at how to go about this let's look at how to go about this but before i continue please feel free to ask any question at the comment section drop your question at the comment section and uh, the question will be attended to before the class is over 
or if I'm unable to attend to your class to your question before the class is over, I will definitely attend to your question and drop the solution on the comment section as well. Okay. In our first question, we have to convert 30 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature, and to do that, we have a formula to use for that. Okay, let me start by saying solution to this problem. Solution to this particular one because we have our two different. Uh, question here for a part we are changing 36 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit and how do you go about that there is a formula to do that to change a value from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit what is the formula this is the formula just pay attention temperature in degree Fahrenheit equals to 9 over 5 multiplied by the value given in degree Celsius let me bracket it plus uh, 32 in some books you will see this part 9 over 5 written as uh, 1.8 remember 9 divided by 5 equal to 1.8 take note of that so it's not that we are having another formula but still the same thing okay this is the formula to use and if you look at the question in the question we have uh, the value of the temperature given in degree Celsius so this value will be fixed straight into this part and we just carry out our arithmetics using either a calculator or we can use our mental mathematics ability to get the solution to this okay let's quickly do that so which means uh, this will be equal to 9 over 5 9 over 5 multiply by the degree Celsius value is 36 let's bracket it plus uh, 32 so if you solve what is in the bracket first and you had whatever you are arrived at to 32 by pressing your calculator you will definitely have uh, 96 point eight degree Fahrenheit and what this one is telling us is that uh, the temperature of our 36 degrees Celsius is equal to 96.8 degree Fahrenheit. That is what this one is telling us. And the second aspect of the question, that is the B part of this question. The B part of this question. Uh, we, have, uh, we have to convert 70 degree Fahrenheit to Celsius and Kelvin. Okay, let's quickly do that. That is the B part. We are converting what again? 70 degree Fahrenheit to uh, degree Celsius and Kelvin. Okay. Now to do that, there's a formula for doing that. So if you don't have ability to memorize so many formulas, you can still use the first formula just put the value given here in the position in the place of a temperature t degree Fahrenheit. that is so if you don't want to use another formula you can just put the value given there here and find this but there's a formula for this particular one as well so let's just use the formula so after the class you can choose to go with anyone that is convenient for you and what is the formula the formula is five okay sorry let me start with uh, in a proper equation t degree celsius equal to five over nine into bracket t degree fahrenheit that is temperature in degree fahrenheit 
minus 32 bracket close so let's just substitute the value that we have remember we are finding it we are calculating it in degrees Celsius and also in degree Kelvin and the value given to us is uh, 78 so which means we are going to have uh, 5 over 9 into 78 minus 32 you press this on your calculator we definitely have uh, a value that is equal to 25.6 degree Celsius that is uh, the temperature of 78 degree Fahrenheit equal to 25.6 degree Celsius now let's take this to degree uh, let's take it to Kelvin temperature that is absolute temperature that's another name for it now how do you do this very very simple let's just call that one C part of our question and uh, let's say T degree Kelvin or T Kelvin equal to any value you have in degree Celsius plus uh, 273 this is the formula for fighting, finding the absolute temperature that is Kelvin temperature and our value in degree Celsius is this let's just substitute it into this equation and uh, that will give us uh, 25.6 plus 273 and this will be equal to this will give us a uh, two nine eight with the help of calculator you can easily get that Kevin so which means that uh, the temperature of 78 degree Fahrenheit equal to 25.6 degrees Celsius and 29 uh, 298.6 Kelvin that is what the solution is all about let me show us everything that we've done so far in this example for in example four we are asked to convert 36 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature and uh, also to convert 70 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius and Kelvin temperature and in order to do that we quickly consider the, uh, the formulas to use to achieve this and the formulas to convert from degree Fahrenheit to Celsius is what we have on the screen that is a uh, temperature in degree Fahrenheit equal to 9 over 5 multiplied by temperature given in degree Celsius plus 32 um, using that formula we are able to get our answer in degree Fahrenheit and the second part of the question we are to convert from degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius and the formula for that is temperature in degree Celsius equal to 5 over 9 into bracket temperature given degree Fahrenheit minus 32 and using that formula we are able to arrive at our answer here which is 25.6 degree Celsius and to take this value to Kelvin whenever your temperature is in degree Celsius taking it to Kelvin is by adding it to 273 adding 273 to the value in degree Celsius will give you Kelvin temperature and that is also known as uh, absolute temperature now with this we are going to call it a day on today's class and what we've discussed so far we've considered uh, temperature measurements we started with uh, uh, the instrument using the measuring temperature which is a thermometer even though at the beginning of the class the network was a bit uh, gave us little problems so that is why I'm summarizing it and uh, we consider two reference points on every thermometer which are upper fixed point and lower fixed point and uh, upper fixed point is the it's also known as a steam point having a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius 
while the lower peak point is also known as ice point having a temperature of uh, 0 degrees Celsius and we consider the thermometric uh, scales used worldwide and that we look at them we have a uh, degree Celsius we have degree Fahrenheit and degree Kelvin and Kelvin so pardon me and we try to solve problem using what is known as fundamental interval as explained in the earlier part of the video that is fundamental interval the interval between the lower fixed point and upper fixed point we use this to calculate the reading on each thermometer given based on what we've done so far tonight we started with this first example that you can see on the screen where we have a lower and upper fixed point of a certain thermometer separated by 30 centimeter so we just pick zero as the measurements corresponding to a lower fixed point and we pick uh, 30 as the measurement corresponding to 100 degrees Celsius and they ask us to find the temperature at 9 centimeter above the ice point and we were able to do that using this method that is uh, the temperature given at uh, the, me the measurement at upper fixed point minus measurement at lower fixed point over measurement at the given point which is midpoint minus lower fixed point measurement we equated that to upper fixed point temperature minus lower fixed point temperature over uh, the unknown temperature minus lower fixed point temperature and we were able to find the value of unknown uh, mathematically and that gives give us uh, that gives us a uh, 30 degrees Celsius rather we move to the second example whereby we have a resistant thermometer and we use the same method at 0 degrees Celsius which is lower fixed point we have the reading of 9.8 ohms and at upper fixed point which is steam point we have our own 11 ohms and we have to calculate the temperature at 10.4 ohms we are able to do that using the similar method and uh, we consider the third example where we have uh, uh, the reading for the unknown, the reading on the thermometer lower than lower fixed point, that is below the lower fixed point. And uh, we are able to solve that following the same method and we arrive at negative answer. And lastly, we consider temperature scale conversion, that is how to convert from degree Celsius to Fahrenheit and from Fahrenheit to degree Celsius and also to temperature temperature. So I want you to read further on this topic. Go and study types of thermometer, study clinical thermometer, the features of clinical thermometer, study sensitivity of thermometer, uh, try to know the meaning of uh, terms such as fundamental interval and the thermal equilibrium. And if you have any question on this, feel free to drop this in the comment section. And if you are in need of a comprehensive material that talks about every topic in physics, feel free to reach out to me at the comment section. Or you can check for the description of this video on YouTube. You know how to go about that. And uh, any question that is at the comment section will be attended to. And you get your answer as soon as possible. Thanks for being part of today's class and before the week runs out uh, we'll fix another class and right from next week we are going to have fixed period for our classes and the timetable will be out on this channel we are going to be considering physics and mathematics for students that are writing WAEC, NECO and UTME and students in other classes can as well join because uh, we are going to be considering the topic treated right from uh, year 10 which is SS1 to year 12 which is SS3 so students in any class can join because you are going to benefit from this class and uh, before I end the class if this class has added any value to you one way or the other please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment at the comment section and uh, for you to always have uh, to, for you to be notified whenever the class is on Please feel free to click a subscribe button and also click uh, the notification button so that you can get the notification whenever the class is on.
uh, thanks for being part of today's class. Thank you and God bless you. Have a blessed night.